A Baltimore business owner sharing her near-death experience during a robbery, hoping city leaders hear her story after a 23-year-old was killed in a robbery over the weekend. The 22-year-old is dead because the city is uncontrollable. We begin there. That woman tells Fox 45 News, unfortunately, she has a lot of experience with armed robberies. Alexa Ashwell has the exclusive interview. The Baltimore Police Department identifying the 23-year-old T-Mobile store employee who was shot and killed in this armed robbery as Fabian Sanchez Gonzalez. This case is especially troubling to a Baltimore business Don't owner who says her shop has been robbed at gunpoint twice in the past six months. In Highland Town, here on Eastern Avenue, Jody Rossoff sits inside Doc Smoke Shop. 1999, 30 off. The business she's owned for more than 40 years. I know. Her mind on the 23 year old T Mobile employee, Fabian Sanchez Gonzalez, who police say has now died after he was shot by an armed robber inside the cell phone store in Canton this past Sunday. 2500 Boston, T Mobile, mail shot inside of location. A situation she found herself in just weeks ago. <sighs> I can't handle that. Who did it? I'm sad for him. I'm sad for his family. The PTSD that is bringing back to me. I can't. It, it's crazy. Back in March, Rossoff's shop was robbed at gunpoint. It was the second time in six months. This time, the owner finding herself in a fight for her life. And it was all oh, captured. Oh, shit. She chased Jesus. that son. Right. right. She chased him out the store. On surveillance. My heart is beating just thinking of it. Rossoff says a man walked into the store posing as a customer when suddenly he pulled out a gun and demanded cash and merchandise. About five minutes into the conversation, he pulls out a gun and he says, I'll take everything. I opened the register, I pressed the hold up arms. arms. I went behind the counter, but I wasn't gonna bend Snakey down said, with man. a man with a gun, you know? So I said to him, if you want it, you take it. He came after me and we got into a scuffle. I go back to the counter here, grab my gun, turned around, he turned around, started to come at me and I shot him. Police arrested oh, the suspect shit. and later I did. Shout out to her, man. She shot that fucking eight, man. Shout out to her, Hell. man. Damn. I opened the register. I pressed the hold up alarm. I went behind the Good counter, job. but I wasn't going to bend down with a man with a gun, you know? So I said to him, if you want it, you take it. He came after me and we got into a scuffle. I go back to the counter here, grab my gun, turned around. He turned around, started to come at me and I shot him. Police arrested the suspect and later identified him as Jerome Owens, a convicted Jerome. felon with a criminal history that spans more than 25 years, with previous arrests for robbery, theft, burglary, and drug distribution. Ross How yeah, many on his CVS receipt? She chased his ass out of there. Look. And drug distribution. <laughs> she took the initiative. She turned the tables on his ass, man. I'm surprised they're not protesting in Baltimore. Well, he didn't die. Rossoff frustrated by the level of crime in Baltimore, but also the handling of criminals. This is our second armed robbery in six months. We have been here in the city for 44 years. For 44 years, we have paid property taxes. We have paid retail sales taxes. We have employed people. Shame on the mayor. Shame on, you know, the judges and the prosecutors and our former state's attorney for letting this happened to Baltimore City. Now, all merchandise must go. Rossoff has made the decision after more than 40 years in business here in Baltimore. But you've been good through the years. To close her shop. Nobody wants to be afraid to, to come into their business. The 22 year old is dead because the city is uncontrollable. Because the people, Scott Adams. These, these criminals yeah. who are nothing but cowards. Exactly, exactly. She's doing the right thing because next time, She'll deal with a real son man that's serious because that son man was faking. He was bull. He let her reach under there, pull her gun out. Next right. son man is not gonna be fucking on no bullshit. He's just gonna shoot the minute he walks in there. I've seen videos of that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's despicable. Yeah. She living that white life. Residual destruction the son man caused. Now you gotta sell your business, your livelihood, all that shit. 
Yep. But she's doing the right thing. Get away from them. You can't fix this. The quote Scott Adams. You can't fix this. If there was a way you could fix this or tweak it, then yeah, you stick in and you try to, you know, work to you know tweak, tweak it and then you know there's nothing you can do. Business, the 22-year-old is dead because the city is uncontrollable. Because the people, these these criminals who are nothing but cowards, think that they have the right to steal from people and harm them. And they they're still out there. Rossoff says she'll be closing her shop in two weeks. In Baltimore, Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News.